I'm going to sum up in this video why the internet has failed. Not just the internet, why cell phones and computers and everything else, why they're all moving in a bad direction. Um, I, I think I, I can probably sum it up in one video because I had this very instructive comment. It's actually a critical comment, but it made me think about what the quintessence of the problem actually is. Okay. So I did a video called I hate cell phones. It's my typical, I hate cell phones video, you know, once a year or whatever. Um, and he says that, and of course in the video, I'm criticizing the fact that, oh, people are using cell, and this isn't just about cell phones, mind you. Um, but, um, you know, people are being forced to use cell phones for increasingly more mundane things in their life and people will do dangerous things like have bank account information on their phones and things like that. Um, and more and more, like a bunch of businesses are trying to get you into using cell phones. Why is that? It actually expands much more than cell phones themselves. Okay, so this comment, again, it's a critical comment. He says, the fact is that many people nowadays, especially the younger generation, almost exclusively access the internet through their phone. Sad. In fact, many do not even have a desktop or laptop, even sadder. Um, should they be locked out of bank services by desktop exclusive application? Now, for, firstly, on that point, I've never ever in my life heard of a desktop exclusive banking application. I've never heard of a banking application, frankly. They, they probably exist. But my, the thing I was talking about in that video is the fact that it is absolutely stupid to create a bank app for a, or a, a cell phone specific application for anything because we already have these things called browsers that can be accessed from any platform. Or there are even odious things like Electron that are terrible, and I'm only sarcastically recommending this, but even Electron would be better than writing a cell phone specific app because Electron can be platform independent, right? So developing an application just for a cell phone is basically malicious because it's forcing people to use these, high, like the most, in, the most uh, sensitive and dangerous and compromisable device you are making people use that for like money related things. That is highly dangerous. Okay. Um, anyway, so th that, that is, I don't know, that's an aside. That's not what I want to actually get at in this, vi uh, this, this video, but let's get to that point. Like we grew up mainly using laptops and desktops. They grew up using mainly cell phones. So it makes sense that a lot of the services are orienting towards cell phone use. Sure. I guess that, that makes sense, but here's the kicker at the end of the day, a cell phone is just another computer and it can empower or disempower you in the same ways. <gasps> Lies, that is nonsense, absolutely nonsense. So why is this the case, okay? Um, so the thing with computers back in the day, if we wanna think about the early internet, is that people on the internet, they saw things on the internet, they learned things on the internet, they consumed product on the internet, but they also produced product on the internet. Okay. And the thing, the reason why cell phones are not computer, oh, I know cell phones are technically computers, blah, blah, blah. You know, they have processors, but I, I'll say that cell phones are really just not computers. Okay. Because they don't have things like this, a keyboard. Okay. The keyboard on your cell phone is not comparable to this. Why is that? Well, you are not going to write a program on your cell phone, not a pro, not a program of any complexity. You're not going to be, oh yeah, I, I love, I love programming. This is my favorite IDE. No, you're not going to do that. Okay. Cell phones are not for product consumption or product produ production. They are for a product consumption. Okay. They like with a keyboard and mouse, you can create digital art. You can program, you can write essays, you can create your own website and put a bunch of like good contentful things on it that many people can enjoy. You can be an active participant in the internet if you have a desktop or laptop or whatever, okay? But the thing with cell phones, cell phones are basically capitalizing on the fact that people on the internet have been reduced from, I don't know, internet uh, aristocrats of, you know, I have my own internet territory and I can do what I want and I, you know, I can have my own blog, blah, blah, blah. People have been reduced from that to being basically product consumption cattle. Okay. And a cell phone is not for sure. You can interact, you can like comment and subscribe on a cell phone. Okay. But the issue with the cell phone is that you will never create anything of note. I'm sorry. Your Instagram is in of note. Okay. I know you can take pictures with a cell phone. Okay. And that's not, yeah, people might like that. I'm, I'm not even totally dismissing that, but your ability to do anything productive on the internet is, uh, you know, basically a hundredth of what it is, uh, you know, if you, you would be using a desktop and laptop 
if you're using a cell phone, okay? It's nothing comparable. So the, the movement of people from real computers to fake pretend computers like iPads and, and cell phones and stuff like that, um, it's getting people into the realm of I go on the internet just to be told what to think and what to believe and what to do, what products to consume. That is what the internet has become. It is no different from network news at this point, okay? Uh, in fact, it's probably like network news is pro there are probably more companies. There's more diversity in who runs network news than there is between, you know, the, the different social media sites that people use. The, the like three or four social media sites that exist, all of you know, half of which are owned by the same company. Um, so that is the issue. Um, people are not participants on the Internet anymore. They are literally just passively like they're, they're basically functionally brain dead they are living just in this hazy life of sitting on their bed at 2 a.m in the morning on their side just scrolling through infotainment because that pretend like that feels like you're learning something when you're not okay when the ideal is the idea is people participating with the internet people doing things people having their own websites okay if you are just on the internet to look at cat pictures uh, actually, cat pictures are probably more excusable than most of the stuff that people do uh, nowadays because it's just people being like scenarianly conditioned, like you're just being brainwashed. Frankly, they're they're all just giant. All these social media sites I've said before, they're just giant Skinner's boxes where companies are basically programming people not just to consume particular products, but they're you know basically brainwashing people into particular personality types and things like that. Um, and that is what cell phones are a part of. That is how the internet has declined. That is the issue, okay? So, I don't like that, okay? Use, like, do not consume product, okay? Don't just, like, go through social media feeds. This is, this is why I recommend, mit, rin, blah, 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 blah. this is why I recommend people to make their own websites, okay? Go to landchad.net, that's my uh, internet tutorial site. Um, but yeah, just be an agent. Stop being, like, someone who is just, I don't know, whatever. That, well, at least this guy posted a comment with his opinion. That's good. And it's not, it's not a...